The canines were brought in after Sheriff Parkinson was elected, and it's it's um, a force multiplier for the sheriff's office. Um, it helps us put more cars in the field, which is one of the sheriff's main priorities. Um, it helps us handle more calls because we have the extra deputies in the car in the field, and, um, and they're a great asset for the department. What we can do with the canines is we can have one de sheriff's deputy and the canine ride is in its immediate backup, uh, which alleviates us from having to put two uh, deputies in a patrol car, which saves us in total salary and benefits almost $150,000. Um, our entire canine program is paid for with asset forfeiture money. Okay, So that means that no taxpayer money went to pay for the canines or the cars um, for the setup equipment. Um, so money that we've seized from drug dealers uh, paid for the canine program. We started back in 2000 with one canine. And um, which was uh, Jake, which is a narcotics detection dog. And um, he passed away of cancer in 2009. Uh, we got our second dog, which is a black Labrador retriever, who's also a narcotics dog. And um, I've been working with Jack for three and a half years now. Um, and just within the last uh, year and a half, we expanded the canine program to uh, four patrol dogs, cross train patrol dogs, which means that they can locate drugs and also track suspects, find missing persons, uh, do handler protection. Um, and we also put a drug dog in the jail also uh, to help combat the drug problem in the jail. Um, so the program has grown immensely within the last year and a half. And thanks to the sheriff and the administration supporting the program, seeing the value in the canines and uh, you know, doing better service for the public.